Com. Welcome to my new map tactic for Sinai Domination. Sinai is a small map and very fast. Once you reach the capture points there's not much else to go to. Because on both sides the spawns come right after death. In addition the map is kind of mirrored. And the same tactic applies for both sides. When you have a small map like this teamwork is very important. On a map where all capture points for the teams are at the same distance. Most of the time two capture points are better connected and one is more isolated. In this case the capture point C is rather isolated. But I think that C is crucial for the outcome of the match and I will explain why. To make it short, you want to have control over C. Then take care about B and when it is later in the match go for the capture point A. Please also consider the information in the comments section of my video. And you can also join my discord server for more information and to connect with other players. I will also post the charts there. First off let's have a look at some areas I can't recommend to go to on this map. Especially at the beginning of a match. When it is later in the match and some enemies are already gone you may be able to use these routes but it still might be dangerous. This whole area between C and B is not recommended. You have not much cover and even if you find a rock to hide behind, the enemy has a better line of fire on you and you are stuck in the middle. The same goes for the area in front of the capture point A and behind it. At the beginning of the match I totally avoid the capture point A. Enemies from both sides can immediately shoot at you when you want to push the capture point early. And the route behind the hill is just a dead end that leads directly to the enemy spawn. I know there are some spots for snipers and ambushes, but in the end you will get destroyed without having an impact on the outcome of the match. Let's start with the north spawn. When you have a down tier match or close to it and some armor to use take care of the capture point C. Try it immediately towards the capture point and don't use the ridge line directly after the spawn. Enemies can shoot on your side armor right at the start of the match. Take the street and head for the rock at the capture point. You can use it as solid cover to protect your side armor. This is your key position number one for the brawl route. Fight enemies that also want to capture the point. I mark the position with enemies you can shoot at. With the eye symbol and have an eye on the positions I mark with the exclamation mark. Because there might be some enemies that have a line of fire on you. For your second key position you can either stay at the point itself or move closer towards the spawn of the enemy. What you can do depends on what your support teammates are doing. Have a look on the minimap. If your team has the upper hand in this area you can move on. If not stay at the capture point and defend it. The enemies might overrun this position and try to attack you from the side. When your support team is doing great you can use the second key position that is closer to the enemy spawn and prevent enemies from pushing C ever again. In addition you can help your other teammates at B. This is the problem about the capture point B. You have almost no solid cover here and the enemy can shoot on your side armor once they have the control over C. For your third key position on the bra route you can either stay at your former position or move closer to the enemy spawn. As mentioned earlier the map is very small. Now let's have a look at the support route from this side of the map. There are two routes and I want to start with the one that helps around C. When you have an up to your match or close to it or you want to play a tank that can't brawl then play a support. Again avoid the ridge line because fast enemies can shoot at you. Move directly to your first key position. From this position you can easily shoot on enemies that try to push B. Right at the beginning of the match or that want to use the area I can't recommend. Stay held down or use some rocks as cover. In addition have an eye on that position and fight enemies that brawl with your teammates at C. When you go to this position you want to ensure that no enemy can sneak upon your teammates that brawl at C. Another position that comes with a more aggressive playstyle is behind the buildings. Use the buildings or some rocks as cover. From here you have an even better view on the enemies that push C but you also might be trapped when the teammates around you got destroyed. For your second key position you can either stay at your former position and help your team at B or follow your teammates that brought towards the spawn of the enemy. This position is really important for the rest of the match. As mentioned earlier you want to have control over this position and help your teammates that brought to move onwards. In addition you can and must help at the capture point B. You will see later why. From here you can even enable your team to catch up again when the enemy has overrun C on the first attack. The other second key position again is more dangerous and from here you want to support your teammates that brawl. Key position number 3 for this support route is again just a little further down the road. Or you can even drop down and rush to the capture point B. As mentioned when it is later in the match the areas I didn't recommend to use are more safe and worth a shot. Nevertheless you should be careful because some enemies can still hide behind rocks or have just spawned. Now let's have a look at the second support route. This route uses the other spawn and focuses completely on the control over B and A at the beginning of the match. You can also use this as brawl route. 
but you actually want to brawl around C. In any case, you don't want to capture A and B right away and rather prevent the enemy from pushing the points. Don't use the route that leads through the open field when you move to your first key position. Also stay hull down and don't position yourself on the top of that area. The enemy can shoot at you from everywhere. At this position you have several rocks to protect your tank and you can shoot on enemies that want to sneak towards your spawn, that want to capture A or B and that want to use the area I can't recommend. So you see this is also a really important position. Have a look on the minimap. When your team at C is on their way to the second key position you can also move to the capture point B and occupy it. Keep in mind that B is in the open field and it is more safe to capture it when your team has the control over C. Nevertheless from this side of the map you have a little more cover and can try to push B earlier than from the other side. But have an eye on the position I marked with the exclamation mark because this is a key position from the other side of the map. You can also stay at your former position and prevent the enemy from taking A and B. Sometimes you only need one capture point to win a match. When it is later in the match and the enemy already has lost some of their players you can finally capture A or just defend the capture point B. The capture point B has some hull down positions from both sides of the map and when your team has control over the capture point C you can use them to support. But be aware, when you are at the capture point B or beyond it the enemy might still have the chance to sneak upon you from the side. Always check the minimap. On this chart we can see a proper front line for each phase of the match. As you can see I recommend to take care about C and control the other two capture points. When you spawn south and can use the brawl route, again immediately move to the capture point C that is your first key position. From this side it is not that easy to capture the point immediately since you have to cross a line of fire of the enemy. Before you enter the capture point have a look to your left and right and see if any enemy is either hiding behind the rocks to your left or the buildings to your right. After you have captured the point you can move onwards to your second key position and again help your team at B. From here you can fight several enemies that try to push C again or that try to advance to B. Use some rocks as cover to protect your side armor and be aware of your surroundings because enemies can appear from multiple directions. Again check what your support team is doing. When they get destroyed at this position it might be possible that the enemy is pushing around that big rock trying to attack you from the side. This is why you can also stay at sea for your second key position. When it is late in the match you can even move further towards the enemy spawn. But I prefer to stay at the former position and defend the capture point C for my third key position. Again the support route for C helps the teammates that brawl to capture the point. But from this side it is not that easy. The enemy has just a better overview than you on the area before C. When I play as support I like to move to this position and fight the enemies that want to capture B at the beginning of the match. From here I can also prevent the enemy from sneaking around that big rock. In addition I can relocate and help my teammates at C. Again you can play a bit more aggressively and try to get behind that buildings around C. Here you can shoot on the side armor of the enemy while they have to focus on your teammates in front of them. But be aware that you have to cross a line of fire in order to get to this position and you will most likely encounter enemies frontally. There is an optional position from which you can snipe right at the start of the match on enemies that ignore cover and use the ridge line to get to C fast. From this position it is around 600 meters to the enemy and you can go hull down. This is why I recommend to take a detour from the north spawn when you move to C. For the second key position of the support route I like to stay at the former positions and defend C or help to capture B. You can also move onwards and follow your teammates that brawl to their second key position. But when it is still early in the match this can be dangerous since you can't back up. Rather help your team to defend C and capture B from these positions. Later in the match you can again rush towards B and help to capture and defend it or move closer to the enemy spawn. Check the minimap and make a decision based on what your team is doing. I would rather recommend to stay in place than over push early in the match. Please be aware that there still might be some enemy hiding behind rocks and they can shoot on you when you cross the wide open area between C and B. The second support route from the south spawn uses the other spawn. Again you can also use it with your tank that can brawl. Move directly towards your first key position that is behind some rocks close to B. Make sure to expose not too much of your tank because as you cross this area the enemy can shoot on your side. But you can also shoot on enemies that try to push this area early in the match. The distance is about 800 meters. From your first key position you can oversee the area before the capture point A and prevent the enemy from getting to be early in the match. For the second key position I actually like to push the position of the enemy. Again check what your team is doing at C and only push if your team has the upper hand. It is important to clear this position when you play from this side before you capture the point B because the enemy has more cover from his side and can easily shoot on you when you are at B. From here you can still have an eye on the area right after the spawn and on the capture point A. Be aware that there might be some enemies to your right behind the rock. Capture A or B and use the points as your third key position. When you drop down to A, be aware that the enemy can shoot on you from the spawn. 
When you take care of B, check the positions I marked with the I symbol. There might be enemies that fight your teammates that are at their second key position. Maybe you can help. As mentioned earlier, the enemy has more cover around B from his side of the map and therefore there is even a fourth key position for this support route. Again, you can use some hull down positions around B and defend it or you can push the enemy spawn when it is late in the match. When we now have a look on each route, we see a proper front line for each phase of the match. The focus is clearly on the capture point C while you want to prevent the enemy from capturing the other two points until it is later in the match. I hope I was able to give you some tips on how to win this map and my key positions will help you to have better matches on Sinai Domination. Like, subscribe and leave a comment if you want to and check out my Discord server for more information and to connect with other players. Hope to see you in game soon.